Hey, this is Mr. Warwick. I'm here to talk to you today about um, solving rational functions. Uh, we've been doing this for a couple days now. There's still some confusion as to how we cross multiply, when we cross multiply, all that stuff. So I'm going to go over some of increasing difficulty and hope that this video can help you out. So to start with, when you have ones like this, they're just basic fractions that are equal to each other. To solve fractions that are equal to each other, you cross multiply. Now, I always thought of cross multiply as kind of like a symbol. We have the arrows that go top to bottom, kind of like this, and bottom to top. Um, and I always thought of the equal sign as a part of it. So you always want to cross multiply over the top of that equal sign. If you go back and you work in other problems, they have plus, they have minus, you have to get to a common denominator. You are not cross multiplying because there's not an equal sign in between those. So to start with on this one, we're cross multiplying. Six times eight is gonna give us 48. X times three gives us three X. So three X is equal to 48. We divide by three and we come up with X is equal to 16. Um, when we put this back in, six over 16 reduces to three over eight. So we can tell that they are equal. You put your number back in, you check. Um, on this one here, we have another one where we're going to cross multiply. And in this case, when we cross multiply, we're going to be multiplying this x, we're going to be distributing it by both of these, and it's going to give us an x squared, which should mean we get two answers. So we go um, 3 times 5 is, of course, 15. x times x plus 2 is going to give us x squared plus 2x. So that's equal to 15. So that's x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. Put it to one side because it's quadratic. Now this one's going to factor, and it's going to factor into x plus 5 and x minus 3 because the 5 minus 3 will give us the 2 we need in the middle, and 5 times negative 3 gives us a negative 15. That means my two answers are a negative 5 and a positive 3. So I go back to check. 3 over 3 would be 1. A um, 3 plus 2 would be 5 over 5, which would also be 1. 1 equals 1, so that one's good. A negative 5 here would be a negative 3 fifths. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 over 5, which is also a negative 3 fifths. Both of these answers check out. Both of them work. There's no extraneous answer. On this last one, this was one of the more difficult ones from the one that we graded today. So it's a good one to walk through. First off, we have to take this side. We're not going to start by cross multiplying, even though we have this. We're going to isolate this side and we're going to do what this operation tells us to do, which is subtract. Now, this x squared plus 7x plus 12 will factor into x plus 3 and x plus 4. So if we look at it like that, we already have the x plus 3 over here. We don't have to multiply by anything on this side, but on this side, we're going to need to multiply by x plus 4 over x plus 4. That'll give us this same on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down, kind of down here. x squared plus 7x plus 12. And that's going to be the bottom part of my fraction. For the top part of this, I've got 12x plus 19. And then the 3 times x plus 4 is 3x uh, plus 12. I'm subtracting that whole thing. So I need to kind of put it together like that so I remember to subtract each part. So 12x minus 3x is going to give us 9x. 19 minus 12 is going to give us 7. So then we have x squared plus 7x plus 12 on the bottom of 9x plus 7. And I can't factor that 9x plus 7. 7's prime. It's just not going to work out. So that is now equal. This is where I bring this kind of back in. It's equal to 5 over x plus 4. So I need to now cross multiply. I'm just going to distribute that 5. So that gives me 5x squared plus 35x plus 60. And that's going to be equal to, and I need to FOIL these or work them out in the boxes. I'm going to work them out in the boxes. That's 9x plus 7 times x plus 4. That's 9x squared, uh, 7x, 36x, and 28. These are like terms, so the 7x and the 36x are going to make 43x. So that's 9x squared plus 43x plus 28. So now, since this is quadratic, I'm going to get them all to one side like I had it before, 
and I'm gonna start factoring from there. Uh, so I subtract 5x squared, I subtract 35x, and I subtract 60. Doesn't really make a difference which way you go, but I like for the x squared to be positive. It makes factoring a whole lot easier. So I eliminate this smaller one, and I'm gonna subtract the 5x squared, subtract the 35x, and subtract the 60 from over here. 9x squared minus 5x squared is 4x squared. 43x minus 35x is going to give me a positive 8x. And then 28 minus 60 is gonna give me a negative 32. Now I did work this with a group in um, seventh period and I was just like, oh yeah, it's 42. That's not 42, that's 32, which led to the problems that we had getting the answer for that one. Um, right up here though, you can see on these, the 4, the 8, and the 32, they're all divisible by four. So if I factor out a four, I've got x squared plus two x uh, minus eight, which means this is gonna factor into um, an x plus four and an x minus two with the four on the outside, but that won't affect my answers, which are gonna be a negative four and a positive two. Now, if I sub these back in, this is where the problem comes in. This negative four is gonna make this one over here uh, undefined. <coughs> and it would also make this one over here undefined. So you'd have undefined uh, minus number is equal to undefined. We can't say that that would be true. So anytime you have those undefined ones, that's gonna be an extraneous answer. The two works. Two plus three is five, two plus four is six. And then in this one, we would have five times six, so 30 on the bottom. Doesn't matter really what you would get on the top. You can put that all the way back in to check your answer, but we're really just looking at this point to see if it's gonna be extraneous or not, and it shouldn't be. Two is gonna be your good answer. The negative four won't work. Hopefully this will guide you and uh, get you a little bit further on those homeworks.